Greetings to the students of class 5. Welcome to your online math class. Dear students, today we will understand the difference between area and volume. And along with that, we will also try formulas to find the volume of various shapes. So let's begin. Dear students, we all love having juice in summers. But do you know what it means when it says that a box contains 250 milliliters of juice? This means that the juice box has a space to hold exactly 250 milliliters of juice. This amount of space or the capacity is called the volume of the juice box. Here we have a chalk box. The number of chalks that we can put inside this box depends upon the space occupied by the box. That is, it depends upon the capacity of the box and the capacity of this box is its volume. Dear students, in our previous chapter we have learnt about the surface occupied by two dimensional figures that is the area. For example, the area of this land can be calculated by multiplying its length and breadth. If a house is built on this piece of land it is enough for a family to live. If a multi-story building is built on the same piece of land, then a number of families can live in it because now its capacity is increased. So students, as the height increases, the capacity also increases. This piece of land is a two-dimensional object which has a length and a breadth and this multi-story building is a three-dimensional object which has a length, breadth and a height. Surface covered by a two-dimensional object is its area and the space occupied by a three-dimensional object is its volume. Dear students, in geometry we have learnt about one-dimensional objects. For example, this line segment. To measure a one-dimensional object, we need one dimensional quantity which we usually call length. If we move or extend this one dimensional line by a distance equal to its length, it forms a two dimensional object. These objects are measured by two dimensional quantity that we call area. This figure having equal sides is a square and the area of all the two dimensional objects is measured in square units. If we extend this two-dimensional square in a direction perpendicular to its surface, it forms a three-dimensional object. This object is measured in three-dimensional quantity called volume. This figure having equal sides is a cube and the volume of all three-dimensional objects is measured in cubic units. So students, an object having equal length, breadth and height is called a cube and an object having different length, breadth and height is known as a cuboid. Here we have some cubes all of the same size. Every side of cube is 1 cm and the volume of each cube is 1 cubic centimeter. By joining these unit cubes, we have formed two cuboids. Let us find the volume of these cuboids by counting number of cubes. Figure A has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cubes and the volume of 1 cube is 1 cubic centimeter. So the volume of 6 cubes is 6 cubic centimeter. Therefore, volume of this cuboid is 6 cubic centimeter. Similarly, figure B has 8 cubes. Therefore, volume of this cuboid is 8 cubic centimeter. Now, let us find the product of length, breadth and height of these cuboids. In figure A, number of cubes along its length are 3. So its length is 3 cm. Number of cubes along its breadth 1. 
so its breadth is 1 cm and number of cubes along its height are 2 so its height is 2 cm and this way the product of length, breadth and height is 6 cubic cm. Similarly, figure B has a length 4 cm, breadth 2 cm and height 1 cm and the product of 3 sides is 8 cubic cm. When we look carefully, we notice that the volume counted with the help of number of cubes is equal to the multiplication of its length, breadth and height. So we conclude that volume of each cuboid is equal to length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height. A cuboid having equal length, breadth and height is called a cube. So while finding the volume of a cube, we'll write side in place of length, breadth and height. So volume of cube is equal to side multiplied by side multiplied by side. So students, today we learnt about the formulas to find the volume of cube and cuboid. For your homework, you will find the volume of these given cuboids by counting the number of unit cubes. Thank you so much.